Hi everybody. Hi guys. We are sorry that we didn't do React the Yak Tom Talks back last week. Um, it was just a bit of a too much of a hectic day, wasn't it? Yeah, with Kira being in hospital and um, she was going in hospital the day after. Oh no, she, oh, she was. Yeah, that's right. Um, but we were running around all day getting face paints and everything done. We just didn't have two minutes at all to sit down and do a vlog. Um, and obviously Kira was in hospital on Friday. You're wobbling. Yeah, no, I'm um, trying to get it in a perfect position. <laughs> um, oh, hang on. Cameraman is dropping the camera. I'll do that. That's better. Um, so Kira went into hospital on Friday. Um, no, was it Friday? I can't remember. Yes, it was Friday. On the 1st. So Kira went into hospital on the 1st. Anyway. Um, to have the surgery done on our teeth. The, we're, obviously, they slept out the night before our nanny best slept here and then um, went to hospital first thing. Luckily, we're there then. She was, first, she was first on the list, um, but because she had to have a pre-med to chill her out because she can be quite violent, um, they waited a little bit, but she, she was still... They just waited a little bit, uh, like 10, 15 minutes, and then took her down in there yeah. because they knew that she doesn't do waiting. Um, as for the pre-med, God, um, we thought that because Auntie Beth was there, she'd take it and she spat it out. But Auntie Beth's wicked response time was amazing and she caught it and it was right horrible sticky stuff. So thank you, Beth. You are a little saviour. Um, and then Kira started getting violent, so we had to call for Tom to come on the ward. We weren't going to let him on the ward, but because she, she was kicking off, he had to. Um, and then they were only not look, not look, they were only not letting me on ward is because the, you, you were only allowed two adults, but we had to take a third just as backup. So I they didn't let him on the ward right, because no. we needed that, needed him, they let him on the ward. So then. We had to restrain her, didn't we? Yeah. Which was a bit awful. Um, but we got a little bit of the medication in. And then you could tell she started to slow down a bit, didn't she? Yeah. And get she a bit start, wobbly. She, she started getting very wobbly on her feet. Yeah. So she must, whatever she had worked. Then they come and got her ten minutes later and put oh, her on the bed. And she was laid there like the queen, wasn't she? That what? Just like... Uh, I, was like, I was like, are you comfy, Kira? She's like, yeah, I love it. Put her head, put her head back, she wouldn't. Like, she was on beer and she loved it. And then they let you and Beth in the room because that's who she wanted. And she was brilliant. Couldn't have asked for it to go any better. She was absolutely amazing. Went to sleep within minutes. And then the come and found her and they only needed to take five teeth out. Which is amazing considering what we were expecting and managed to fix up the other teeth. Um she woke up quite upset, didn't she? Yeah. yeah. Has she got She couldn't teeth understand in? no. She couldn't understand why she kept choking. And it was because obviously her mouth was full of blood and she didn't understand that and then she stopped panicking. So she didn't do right well when she came round, but then she, then come she, home she, she and came up and she it was like she, she was so brave, wasn't she? Yeah. She just she literally just got on with it. But obvi the numbed her and she doesn't know what that feeling was and she didn't quite get it. Um and obviously they'd give her some pain relief. And then she, yeah, she was so tired. Now. That's because I've just swapped it. Um she was really, really tired and we tried getting her she'd eat, didn't she? Yeah. She had some pasta and it must have been because the pain relief was still working. She couldn't feel anything. Then she went to bed, slept for a few hours and was up at half past one in the morning. Um, but we can't nice. really see anything because she was in pain. And we know she was in pain because she begged with her pain relief, didn't she? Yeah. So we'll give her that and she took it. And normally she'll not, she spits it out, she took it. So she was definitely in pain. But that was her for the rest of the day. <laughs> then on Saturday, obviously she was very, very tired. We were exhausted. Um and then she went when she went to bed. Again, she'd asked for pain relief three times during Saturday. 
And then when she went to bed, she was up again at what time? On Sunday? It was still uh, early hours, wasn't early, it? Very, very early. early. And she was up for the rest of the day and that was that was her. Um, But she wasn't in as much pain on Sunday, was she? No. Which was good. And now she went back to school yesterday and she's just, you would never in a million years think that she'd had a weekend from hell, would you? No. She was... So it's just she, amazing. She, she came out of hospital. Yes, yeah, she were upset when she came round, but she, she, when, she, when she came home... We it expected like, her being very confused and yeah, angry, yeah. didn't we? She were happy as Larry, and all this Larry is, we'll never know. No. Um, but she were, like, she were happy as Larry, and it was like she'd not had, it, not had anything done. Yeah, it was amazing. Cost a fortune, though, because we promised her a present for being so brave. Little did we know the present that she wanted, he cannot really buy anymore. The shops aren't really getting it in. Although, no. so it costs £35. Um, on another note. So, that has been that. So, obviously, you all know that we were away in Newcastle last week. Um, and the reason why things have been so quiet on the vlog and... Um, just in general, is because I've been having a few lady problems and I've put off and put off and put off going to the doctors because I was scared. I was scared because I lost my brother to cancer um, and I know the problems and the symptoms that I was having were are related to cervical cancer. So I went to the it got to my brother's anniversary on the 25th of October and I just sat up and went, my brother would be dragging me to the doctors right now, if he knew. If he was here, he would be forcing us to go. So I did. I rang and they got us in with a specialist. I had an emergency cervical smear and then... Um, a manual internal as well. And they, ton, they took a, quite a lot of tests um, and said that they were going to book us in for an urgent ultrasound. So I come home, obviously. Have you, have you just pumped? <laughs> Deary me. Um, so I I was obviously a bit messed up. Um, so we didn't pack. go to Newcastle on the day that we planned to go because my head was just an absolute my mess. Um, she did say that the hopeful that whatever they found is in early stages um, because I've only had the, the symptoms for about three or four months now. So they're hopeful that it's early and that they've caught, they have caught it in time. However, Obviously, we went to Newcastle. I got a phone call on Monday saying that they've discussed my case. The, on Friday, after I left, they discussed my case with a specialist, like, bigger. And said they were going to bypass an ultrasound and go straight for a colposcopy because things don't look right. Um, and I don't know what a cup, I can't say it, I don't so know what So colposcopy, basically, if anybody doesn't know what it is, it means they are going to use a camera, um, a microscopic camera, to look at my cervix in closer depth. And um, they use like this acid stuff to put on to make the abnormal cells show and then they can take biopsies and possibly a procedure to get rid of the abnormal cells. Um, so they were booking us in urgently for that. So then that set the alarm bells ringing. Yeah. Didn't it? Um, because they've just bypassed that and gone straight for the big guns. So now I'm flapping, as you can imagine. And she's here um, today. And yeah. they're doctors. So I we'll come back from Newcastle and I had a letter saying that they wanted us in for, on the 20th of November. I'd put that in my calendar, was just about to go and get sorted for sitters and stuff, and the rang is. If we don't know where we are, we're in our house. <laughs> the rang is are on Halloween. Um, that's why we didn't do the next video. This is the real kind of reason why we didn't do the video, is because the rang is on Halloween, 
and asked us if I could come in today. So I am going into hospital to have the procedure done today. And fight, I think you find a little bit out today and then you've got to wait for the biopsy results. Um, I am very nervous. I've told the kids that um, mummy's having some tests mommy, done because I might be a bit... Like, um, yeah, they would heard, heard a little bit of the conversation that heard for us telling me dad and me brother. Well, I didn't hear and the full conversation. And me nana, not like your nana, and we told Tom's nana and um, my friend Leslie, who was like a mum to us. And then we went and told Tom's mum and his sisters because obviously we need someone to have the kids. Um, That's the person who got so by the chocolate. The kids are going to Paula's tonight to for tea while we're in hospital. Um, and we they decided that um, because we're both a bit a bit messed up with this, aren't we? I've had a lot to deal with in my life, and I can deal with a lot of things, right? And I've always held it together for my family, always. And every time we we'll get a knock and it hurts and and I get back up again every single time. And I'm always the rock for the family. Tom's normally the sensitive one, aren't you? You're, normal, you're the emotional <laughs> one and he's the sensitive one. Sit back a minute, Aaron. He's the one who just... So he's the one, he's <laughs> the one that... Is normally I've got to hold it together for him but this time it's knocked me big time so I've had to, I've had to beg him to to not show his feelings in front of us and that sounds awful but because I need him to be strong for me because I can't be strong for the both of us at the minute and I think that's because obviously I'm struggling with my mental health anyway and having counselling and then obviously this is just something else um so i just i asked tom to to hold it together for me and that's he's he's doing it um he's been amazing but i'm one of them that can't accept kindness because of the abuse i've had i can't accept kindness and niceness and he just wants to cuddle us and i can't accept that it just makes me feel worse um but he's he's doing what i need him to do even though it's not what he needs right now. But because we know that while I'm in, Tom will be sat there panicking and probably in a, in a bit of a state. Um, with his sister's going to come with work and keep him company so that he's not sat on his own, um, scared. Um, but we have no idea what is in store for her, really. Um, but I did explain to the kids that that I might be poorly. We don't know. Um, there is something wrong with mummy. Um, I've been having problems and the testing is for this. And if it comes back that it is, then I need you to I need you to help. I do. I need you to be nice. I need you to get on. I need you to help around the house. And I need lots and lots of cuddles off you. And that's because they'd heard parts of the conversation. So they were sat there flapping. Um, but I've I've explained it in a in a good way where they're not worried now. Well, you're a bit worried because you're a bit older and understand a bit more, don't you? But Leila and Kira, I've explained it to them where they they they're all right. I've told them I'm gonna be I'm gonna be okay, you know, mummy's handled a lot of stuff in her life and I ain't I ain't going down without a fight, mate. Um, but everything might be fine. It might be fine. We might be worrying over nothing. Um, we just don't know. We don't. And the reason I've been umming and ahhing about whether I should actually do this vlog because I don't. I didn't want all my business, like all my lady business, all over. But so many people, so many girls miss the smears because they're scared of it. They're scared of that uncomfortableness. 
them for you. It literally takes minutes. It does, and they're scared of having it done because, oh, it's a bit embarrassing. But the consequences are worse, believe me. I have put it off. I've been for my smears, and I, I go, when, as soon as they ask me to go, I'm in there, and I, I go. But because I know the symptoms that I've got are, are massively linked to that, mm -hmm. I put off going to the doctor's. And I, could, I should have went straight away. I should have went. Because what if I've left it too late? What if, Do you know what I mean? So my, the reason I've decided to actually vlog this and vlog my results. And if worse comes to worse, then I will vlog my journey. The reason I've done it is because I want girls and women not, not to miss it. I want you if if you notice something slightly different with your regular periods, if there's something a bit off, if you're noticing things, please, 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 please go to the doctors. Even just getting, even speaking to a nurse to put your mind at rest, please do it for me because you just mm. never, ever know when it's going to be too late. And we're clinging on to hope that I haven't up. left it too late. Put it back up. So um yeah this is uh this is today's vlog we just wanted to yes to to know and I want you to to listen to me play oh, please anything out of the ordinary that's not normal for you go to the doctors it's not that scary it's not yeah I'm a bit nervous now um and it was a bit uncomfortable and painful because of the problems I'm having. Um, but my normal smears, they don't hurt. They don't they don't hurt at all. It's a bit uncomfortable. Uh you feel like it's a bit degrading, but the nurses they've seen millions of these, you know what I mean? Yours isn't special to them. They're not bothered. Um, they don't really they don't really notice it. It's just a job to them. Um but yeah so i just want i just wanted to come on and see what's going on and why things are quiet and why why we're a bit yeah just really quiet and yeah. subdued really aren't we because none of us knows what to say and how to act and how to how to get through it i don't, I don't I don't know how I'm... I do. I don't... Act hyper. I don't know how I'm going to cope. I don't... I very rarely break down. I very rarely cry. I found myself bubbling several times. Because of... I'm, because I'm scared of what could happen. And this is just give us a kick up the bum, really. It has, it's made us realise, God, man, why do I let such silly things affect us when something massive like this? <laughs> yeah, so thank you for watching. Thank you for following. Um, Obviously, we will... Well, subscribing. We will update you as, as soon as we know and once we've told family members and um, and let everybody know that needs to know, then we'll um, we'll do a little vlog to to let you know how we got on today. <sighs> Keep your fingers crossed for good news, guys. Much love. Peace. Bye. Bye. Peace, like.